So one of the best things about cooking is using seasonal ingredients as when an ingredient is in season, it's at its peak flavor, and it's what takes dishes to the next level of goodness. Anyways, with that being said today, we're gonna grab the almighty green bean, which happens to be in season right now, and make one of the most flavorful dishes that hail from Spain. We're talking Spanish garlic green beans. This is known in Spain as judías verdes al ajillo. Now the beauty of this recipe is the technique on how we're gonna cook the green beans, as they're gonna end up with such an incredible texture with absolutely no mush in there. Folks, this recipe is very easy to make, made with just a couple ingredients, and all done in about 20 minutes. All right, let's begin by filling a stock pot with some water. You wanna to go to a little over the halfway point. Then we'll season generously with sea salt and heat it with a high heat. In the meantime, I'm gonna grab one pound of fresh green beans, which is about 450 grams or about 45 green beans and rinse them under some cold running water. And when you go to the market to pick up your green beans, make sure they have a solid green color all around and that there's no brown spots or blemishes as that's a sign of older green beans. Once the water comes to a boil in the stock pot, we'll add in the green beans and we'll mix them in there and bring the water back to a boil. Once the water comes back to a boil, we're gonna cook the green beans for exactly two minutes. With the technique we're gonna cook them in later on, if you go any longer here, you do risk the chance of those green beans ending up with a mushy texture. After exactly two minutes, I'm gonna start removing the green beans from the stock pot and adding them into a large bowl with iced water. The iced water is gonna stop the green beans from cooking. This technique is known as blanching. After a couple minutes, we'll drain the green beans into a strainer and we'll shake off any of the excess water and remove any ice cubes if there's any in there. And then we'll add the green beans into a salad spinner and spin them completely dry. If you don't have a salad spinner, no big deal. You can just pat them dry, either using a dishcloth or even some paper towels. And for the final step in prepping the green beans, we'll trim off the ends from each green bean. And as for the rest of the ingredients we'll be using, I'm gonna grab five cloves of garlic and roughly chop them. And we'll also finely chop a small handful of fresh parsley. For the next step, I'm gonna grab a large fry pan and heat it with a medium to medium high heat. On a dial from zero to 10, this would be about a seven. After a couple minutes and the pan is nice and hot, I'm gonna add in two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil, which is 30 milliliters. For this recipe, make sure to use a great olive oil as it's the base fat and flavor of the dish. You'll find a link where you can get the Spanish olive oil I'm using for this recipe in the description box below and we'll immediately add in the green beans. And we'll mix the green beans around, that way they're all coated in the olive oil. And you don't have to mix this around continuously, but do get in there every 30 seconds or so, that way all the green beans evenly saute. After about three to four minutes, and the green beans are lightly sauteed and starting to lightly blister, I'm gonna add in the chopped garlic. And at this point, you wanna make sure to mix this continuously, that way the garlic doesn't brown too quickly, which can easily give it a bitter flavor, and it all evenly sautés. After about 30 to 45 seconds, and the garlic is nice and fragrant, you don't wanna brown it too much, I'm gonna add in half a tablespoon of sherry vinegar, which is about eight milliliters. You can also use red wine vinegar here, or even white wine vinegar. We'll also add in two tablespoons of our chopped parsley, which is about eight grams, and season everything with sea salt and freshly cracked black pepper. And we'll give it one final mix until everything's well mixed together. Then we'll remove the pan from the heat and transfer the green beans into a serving dish.
And check it out, folks. Our Spanish garlic green beans are done. Easy to make, incredible aromas coming out of them, and all done in about 20 minutes. Let's give them a try and see how they turned out. Once again, folks, judías verde salajillo. Look how delicious this turned out. Here we go. That was a greeny bite. And the flavors are absolutely delicious. You have that sherry vinegar in there, but it's not overpowering all the garlic and the olive oil. But the beauty of this recipe is the texture of the green beans. How they're fully cooked through with absolutely no mush in there. Folks, give this a try, either as a tapas appetizer or even as a side dish. And I promise with that first bite, these just might be the best green beans you'll ever taste. Really quick before I go, a shout out to a couple of my patrons, Clarence Bolin, Martin Giddings, Aravinda Garimea, and Robert Manahan. Again, guys, thank you so much for being patrons of Spain on a Fork. You know how much I appreciate you. If you enjoyed today's video, hit that like button, uh, leave me a comment below, and if you're not subscribed, don't forget to smash the subscribe button and click on the bell icon. That way you can get notified every time I release new content and to become a part of the Spain on a Fork family. Till the next time, hasta luego.